It's Thursday, May 21st, and now it's time for our language arts overview. Remember that I forgot to put in your partner plays, but I mailed them to you, and they should have arrived to your house by now. So ask your family if anybody found this in the mail. It would have had this story, the partner play from Wednesday, that you can also use on Saturday, or you could read it today or anytime, actually. But um, that was for yesterday, and here's the one for today. Fantastic Flamingos. So read that and um, enjoy the stickers that I sent in that envelope too, but read it two or three times. Maybe put a sticker on it every time you read it. All right, and then the next thing you'll be doing today, the first thing that's in your learning pages, is a um, your spelling words using the sounds, the sound ah, which can be spelled a, a W A U A U G H A L and O U G H. So it's spelled all those different ways in here. We have ball, sauce, small, tot, paw, chalk, jaw, walk, pause, and sot. They all say ah. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is look for the words that match the definition. So you're just finding the definition for six of these words little. Which word here means little? That's pretty obvious. Small. Then at the bottom, you are going to use context clues to figure out which word goes in the sentence. So you look at the context of what's happening in the sentence to figure out what word makes sense. Number seven is Sean likes chocolate blank on his ice cream. So would he like a chocolate ball? Maybe, but probably not. Would he like a chocolate paw? That sounds a little gross. So look at which word makes the most sense for the context of putting something that's chocolate on his ice cream. And I see the word right here. I see sauce. So I will write it right here. And then you continue and do the rest of that page on your own. The next page is more contraction work. A contraction is a short form of two words an apostrophe shows where the letters have been left out. So we are, we take away the A and we add the apostrophe and squeeze it together and have we're. You are, once again, you take away the A, add the apostrophe and squeeze it together. They are, same thing, take away the A, squeeze it together and add the apostrophe. So here you're going to write the contraction for the underlined words, rewrite each sentence with the contraction because that's good practice. All right, so write the contraction for the underlined word right here. U apostrophe R-E. See, I took out the A, squeezed it together and added the apostrophe. And then you'll write the whole sentence right there, making sure you start with a capital and you end with a period. All right, the next page is the same story that you had earlier in the week about the recycling contest. But what you're going to do after you read it this time is you're going to decide what the problem was in the story. So write the problem right here in this box and then write how the, the solution will go down here, what they did to solve the problem, and then you'll write the steps to the solution in here. All right, that's the lesson for the day.